and welcome back to my channel today I will be showing you guys how to make Guyanese cheese rolls and to get started here are the ingredients I will be using here I have some all-purpose flour I have some vegetable shortening some white and yellow cheddar cheese and I'll be using my food processor because ain't nobody got time to be great in no cheese okay and I have some butter here mustard hot pepper sauce grated garlic one egg some salt and sugar. Let's jump right into it. So first things first, we'll begin by making the pastry dough and we will add the salt, sugar and the shortening to the flour. And we will work this in with our hands. If you wanna do this with your food processor, you can go right ahead. But I'm just gonna do this with my hands. It's very simple and easy and it takes less than five minutes. And guys, I only use shortening now in my pastry dough ever since I realized that it makes the pastry dough so much more light and so much more flaky. Like when you use just the vegetable shortening, you get so much of a better result. And since I discovered that, I only use shortening now in my pastry dough. So we will work this in and then i'll show you guys the next step so once you've got the shortening all worked in you don't have to get it completely worked in once most of it is worked in that's fine we will go ahead and start adding the water and i am just using cold tap water here i'm not using ice water because it's not needed when you're using the shortening and we will just keep adding the water until the dough comes together. You'll just squeeze, press and squeeze until it comes together. We don't want to overwork the dough. And now that the dough is all together, we'll now place it in a piece of plastic wrap. And another thing that's not needed here or necessary here is putting this inside of the refrigerator you don't have to do that when you're just using shortening but if you want to you can go ahead and do it but i will place this in the wrap and i will just sit it in my refrigerator for you know a couple minutes until i get my filling ready and then i will show you guys the next step Next, I'll go ahead and start processing the cheese first. And once the cheese is halfway processed, we'll go ahead and start adding the rest of our ingredients. We will add the butter, the grated garlic, the pepper sauce, and the mustard. We will go ahead and start processing this again until it's nice and smooth and everything is well combined. And once it's all completed, this is how it should be looking. It is so simple, guys, and so much more easier than trying to do this by hand. So for this step, you'll need your baking tray lined with parchment paper. And you'll need a rolling pin, a brush, and a pizza cutter or a knife. Next, we'll begin to work with the dough. But first, we will flour our surface so that nothing sticks. Then we will cut the dough in half and we'll work with half at a time. And we wanna roll this out into a very thin, flat layer. It doesn't matter what shape you roll it in because we have to cut it anyway. So we'll roll it very thin to about, let's say, a quarter of an inch thick. And then I'll show you guys what's next. So once we have a large enough piece, we can go ahead now and start cutting out our squares. 
we need to cut them in squares to make the cheese rolls so we'll cut you know a square and then we will place our cheese filling in the middle of that square but one thing you don't want to do is put a lot of that cheese filling inside there I must warn you, you will be tempted to put a lot of cheese thinking that you want to make it rich. But no, it will run out inside of the oven. All that cheese, it will just ooze out inside of the oven and defeat the entire purpose. So don't put a lot of it. Just put a good amount, but don't overdo it. And then we will brush the egg wash around the four edges and we will roll it up into a roll and seal it down with our fingers. Just press it down to make sure it's sealed. And then we will use the fork to seal the two edges, like the left and right side. We will make that look pretty with the fork. And we can go ahead and just cut off what needs to be cut with our pizza cutter. If you see like, you know, on the edges, it looks kind of messy. You can go ahead and just trim that off with the um, pizza cutter. And that's how easy and simple it is, guys, to make cheese rolls right in your own homes. This one is super delicious, guys. The pastry is super flaky and simply amazing. So I'll go ahead and show you guys one more and then we'll move on to the last step. Next, we will brush some egg wash over top of the cheese rolls and then we will place some ventilation holes inside of them. You want to put a hole so that they can release whatever air is inside while they bake. Now we will place these in a 355 degree oven for about 30 minutes or at least until they start to look slightly golden brown. And once they're done, this is how they should be looking. Nice and cheesy and flaky and super delicious. Look at them guys. A work of art. And some of the cheese did ooze out. If you look closely, you can see some of them did leak out. But that's okay. That's no problem. It happens. It's absolutely normal. Okay, guys. So this is how I make a super flaky and cheesy Guyanese cheese rolls. You can absolutely tell how flaky a pastry is by looking at it. You can see the cracks in it. And you can see how it's crumbling. And... It is super delicious, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will leave all the ingredients and measurements down in my description box. And I will see you guys in my next video. Enjoy!